Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a second video to follow up to my other video that I did about removing supplementation. The first video I did, I posted if you haven't seen it, I'll have it linked down below. I actually use apple cider vinegar and white vinegar to remove the supplementation. It works. Some people said it did great for them. Some people actually said they couldn't get it off. So that involved a lot of scrubbing. Today I was told in my comments and I did some other researching and you're supposed to be able to remove supplementation by burning it off. So this one was a water slide. You know, water slide is hard to get off as well. So I'm gonna see if we can burn it off. This one was full sublimation. I had a little bit of mistakes and I don't really care for this image. So I'm gonna see if I can burn it off. This one was a sublimation mug as well that I did and the ink came out a little faded. So I have three different mugs I'm gonna test. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This is gonna be a quick video on how to remove sublimation from your mugs. And it should work on tumblers as well. So I'm gonna put these three in the oven. I could just sit it on the rack, but I'm not. I'm just gonna sit it in this little small tray. The oven is already preheated up to 400 degrees, so I'm gonna let this sit in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes and remove them and see if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna let that bake and see if we can bake that sublimation off and I'll be back and I'll let you see the final results. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I post weekly content on DIYs, crafts, and everything that you need to know to help grow and start your business. Okay, let's see if this actually worked. Ooh, I can see. Okay, so this was 45 minutes at 400 degrees. The sublimation is baking off, but I think I'm gonna let it stay in just a little longer. The water slide might peel off. I don't wanna to touch it yet. But as you can see, this is the sublimation baking off. They did say it was a faded, um, you get like a faded look. So I'm gonna let it sit in there for just a little while longer just to see. That is like sizzling, I can hear it sizzling. Uh, it looks the exact same. Looks the exact same. It's hot. So you see that? That's the first one. So now, unless you're doing the same exact image, you know, you wouldn't be able to resupplement. And the fact that it kind of spreads or droops looks like ghosting. So I would only use this method. This is the back. I would only use this method if I was doing like a full wrap. So I would use this mug resupplement it for like a full wrap mug or something larger than this because you have to be able to supplement over that. And um, I need to wait till that cools down. So I'm gonna run this in some cold water. It's like really hot. But the only thing with this is, you know, it looks like ghosting. That looks like ghosting because you know, it's like the image drops or fades off. And because I have that on the back. So this one would need to be a full wrap. And I don't have any full wrap designs prepared to supplement. So I'm going to have to come back and do something with that. Um, I do want to resupplement, but because this had a name here and I don't have a name to put there, but um, it wouldn't look good. To me, in my opinion, I don't need to resupplement it because there's so much ghosting around it that my, the image would need to be really big. I like the idea better when I sat it in the white vinegar or the apple cider vinegar because that way, even though I removed the coating of the sublimation coat, because this does have that sublimation coat on it, I believe the supplement, I can still see the gloss, so I know the sublimation is still there. You can resupplement, but my advice would be the image has to be much bigger than this image, not even the same exact image because you would get that ghosting and fading around on the outside. So I would need to do a full wrap, a larger or darker image because you still have to cover that up. Keep that in mind. 
But when you put it in apple cider vinegar or the white vinegar, when you scrub it, you can just do a water slide on top. It removes the sublimation coating, but you can do a water slide or you can still apply vinyl. So now with this mug, I have to go figure out something. So I will resupplement. I just have to figure out something to put on it. <laughs> Let's see if we can remove the water slide. So at least that way I'll know if the water slide can come off. Okay, so I cooled it down a little bit. I'm gonna move that completely out the way. And I wanna see if I can get the water slide off. Now this was originally, so now I thought, actually, I'm crazy. And y'all probably were already saying it. When you put water slide on, you bake it on. So I didn't do anything, we just baked this on more to the cup. I'm sitting here just thinking about that. Of course that's not gonna come off because to apply the water slide, you have to bake it on. So why would I be able to bake it off? What was I thinking? Okay, yeah, that's not coming off at all. I baked it on. And I can see that I kinda, the handle turned a little brown. Um, the bottom is a little brown, I guess because it was in there so long. Let me see if it did it to, this, to these. Um, no, I can't see. Uh, I'm trying to look at the handle on this one. The handle on this one is fine, but that one definitely is a little brown. So I don't know how to, how do you get off a water slide? How do you remove a water slide? Yeah, so that's not coming off. So we know that we can remove sublimation. Am I happy with it? No, but at least I know I can remove some of the image and reuse it for a full sublimation wrap. I wish I had something full to wrap this in. I wish I had something full. Let's see if I can come up with something. Okay, so I couldn't leave you guys hanging. I had to see if this really works. Now, as you can see, that did not burn off the image and I left it in for an entire hour at 400 degrees. So I decided to come up with a full wrap design this is a photo image that I put together template and I am going to see if I can cover this cup. So I had to come up with a, a template to fully wrap the entire cup and I had to pick out photos. That's why my video was late because <laughs> I was doing this and um, making mugs and um, making tumblers and doing other stuff. So I am sorry this video did not get posted on Sunday. It'll be posted on Monday. I promise you guys videos twice a week. It's hard when you're a mother working and trying to upload videos as well. So support my channel and give me a thumbs up. Okay, so this is the image that I'm going to put over here. I had to try to come up with something kind of dark. This area is like light, but everything else is pretty much dark. Um, I'm just hoping that it sublimates completely over it. So we shall see. We shall see. I am going to fully wrap this. I'm trying to make sure that part is even. Alrighty, so this looks good all the way around. I can still see a little bit of where the image like faded at the bottom, but let's just see how this works out. I'm not gonna need that much tape, Trina, but I wanna get it. I'm scared because the image, I got it so close. This is my first fully wrapped mug, you know? So I got it. Because I, um, I really don't want any ghosting. But I measured that perfectly. I looked for sizing. But I could I had to come up with my own template. So I just measured my cup myself. Because ain't nobody trying to give up the sizing on YouTube. Clearly, I couldn't find it. 
they want you to buy templates and everything. And I was like, I'm not buying no template. I can do this myself. All right, here goes everything, literally. 400 degrees. I have that in. I'm going to press that. And I already know that that's not covering that. So what I'm going to do is put this in my oven. I'm literally going to put this in the oven because it's not covering the whole entire thing. So let's put it in the oven. And I know one of these is supposed to be the 15 inch. I think that's the 15 inch one. So I'm just gonna make sure I lint roll this. I'm gonna cut this off and cut my oven on. And I know it's gonna make my alarm go off. Okay, I'm gonna use the butcher paper to cover that all up. Cut off the excess. Okay, move that out the way. And now I'm gonna lock this in. Because I'm doing a full, full wrap, I knew that, um, I knew the ends wasn't going to make it all the way in that, in my mug press, because that's like a four and one, five and one. So I just want to make sure everything gets sublimated. Okay. Got that on there. Let's put it in the oven. Okay, 400 degrees. I'm going to set this in here for 10 minutes. Ooh, that's hot. I'm going to put it this way because I'm actually going to rotate it at five minutes. Okay, that's been five minutes. I'm just literally going to turn it around. Hope my smoke detector doesn't go off. So now that way I can grab the handle when it comes out. I'm just gonna let it go for another five minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna take this out. I'm just gonna move that to here. You know, these gloves are like not really heat resistant at all. So, and there goes my smoke detector. Okay, gotta hurry up and get this out. Woo. Let's open this up. Woo. The moments of truth. Um, I'm gonna take off one glove. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I pray this worked. I can see the image. Ooh, the handle is so hot. Okay. I see something. Ah! <laughs> I gotta put the glove back on. Okay. I... It would have came out great, but I can see, of course, the other image behind it. Man, oh man. So the image did not come off enough. That's what it was. But this is a perfect, like I did a really great job. Just give me credit on the fact that I did my first photo mug. But for the fact that, and of course, that's me and my son when he was a baby. And make sure this is, make sure this is in camera, in focus. Ooh, this is so hot. So had I had a lighter image, it would have been perfect. But because I had that big old red hat, you can see like all the red in the image. But the fact that um, there's a little bit of ghosting at the top. But man, this is like perfect sizing as far as the photo mug. 
but you can really see the red in my shoulders. It showed up because this is where the hat is. I can definitely see it behind, but I was just definitely wanting to test out if you could resupplement. So you can resupplement perfectly, no problem. But you know, you got to make sure that image is gone or you're putting over a darker image. Like where the black is, you can't see it. So it's just showed up on the lighter area. So, and I kind of figured that would be a problem. So only like on the body, on the skin where it's light, but where the black is, of course it covered it, but everywhere it's light. It showed up on the light areas. Well, this would be my mug. I still love it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. So I might try again. I still have this image. And so I know now that I just need to get something much darker or the same image. But because this had the name on it, when I do another mug, it's not going to be the exact same name. Because, of course, I had already redid the mug. I already did this one for a customer on a, new, on a brand new mug. But that's it for today's video. Just a quick video on if you can resupplement if you can burn off your supplementation and if you can resupplement it. So yes, you can burn it off somewhat, but not completely fully, you know, in my opinion, and even all the other videos I've seen, they never got a really perfectly, you know, they never got the supplementation perfectly removed either. So I still like my old method better, but my old method in my other video, you definitely can't resupplement unless you recoat the mug. So I'll probably be doing one of those videos soon, but this is the photo mug. And this is, and I'll do a full tutorial. If you guys want to see a full tutorial on how I do my photo mugs, let me know in the comments down below. I can give you the dimensions. I can give you everything to help you for this size and that size because it was actually quite easy. So I definitely want to share that with you. So let me know if you want to do that. And of course, it won't have <laughs> the shading behind it. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.